And here we go, a mouth-watering bantamweight matchup between Jason Maloney and IBF Kingpin Emmanuel Rodriguez. It's main event time here in Orlando. Ray Flores, BJ Flores. My goodness, BJ, I am excited for this one. Rodriguez has a large amount of fans that have come to support him. He gets in those clinches and you see Maloney's not moving around too much whenever... Uh, beautiful timing on that right hand where you see how... No, he tricks you. He's over his front leg. And you think when he's over his front leg like that, you think... As we near the end of round one, this has been a fabulous round to start for Emmanuel Rodriguez. Beautiful right hands by Rodriguez. Double left hook there by Maloney, followed by a straight right hand. Nice body shots. He's able to be calm and be patient whenever Maloney comes with anything, counter with those shots, and eventually that will slow down the offense of Maloney. A straight right hand down the center of that connected. I'm going to keep timing Maloney. Beautiful left hook, cracker, BJ. I feel like he's ready to explode at any one moment. Nice left hook by Maloney. To try to create some space. And he gets caught on the temple. So a left hook that connected upstairs, but Maloney comes right back and tries to step to Rodriguez again. That night might be a rest weeks ago. As round two draws to a close. As Maloney with a straight right hand. Jason Maloney all week long. He has been so relaxed. Miguel Cotto or even Hector Camacho. Always in position to counter. Um, you know, one thing about I could say about Hector Macho Camacho, he is very good. Jeff Benick and Azuma Nelson. Oh, Azuma Nelson, the professor, was actually one of my favorite fighters. And, you know, Jeff Benick was a big room those, uh, those tough fights. I remember Jeff Benick. Nice that took for Maloney. Riveted by this matchup between Rodriguez and Maloney. He's doing. Left hook to the body by Maloney as round three draws to a close. Out through the guard of Maloney. Good body shots for Maloney a second. Then Rodriguez came back with a nice counter. Rodriguez cutting off or trying to cut off the ring on Maloney. As we are just over the 50% mark here in a Quicker than Maloney, just probably a step or even half a step faster. I think the hands, I just think the timing, the placement, the fundamentals. But again, someone who is as accurate as Rodriguez. Maloney's got to do to get his jab going again. He's got to shoot some right hand leads. He's got Rodriguez with a hard right hand. Action of Maloney. Rodriguez seems to be in control, BJ. In this fight, I wonder if Maloney is hoping to do it's his only shot. He's down probably four rounds already on the scorecards, especially taking into consideration that we're in Florida. So stepping in really quick was Maloney with the right hand. Using his jab now nice. as he advanced up with that forearm and the referee didn't say anything about it at all. And sometimes, you know, you gotta remember it's a fight. Stuff happens. Maloney's camp, his trainer, they're telling him that Rodriguez is getting tired. They want him to come Australia all the way here to South Florida. Good body shots this round from Maloney. Something we haven't seen yet. In the tournament, in a way, is watching the action. So if you're jab, what can you do? You can continue to move to the way that he can't land it at all, but he's going to land it a lot less. If I can, if you could just get him to not move to the left while he's moving in, I think you can take away that right hand from uh, from our region. But you know, you see that whenever you you see him come out in the first round, he takes some. Way home. Uh, nice short left hook from uh, Rodriguez a second ago. 
incredible fight. So, and BJ, as we go, and when he finds himself down seven rounds, going to eight, he's going to have to gamble right, and put himself out there more in order to possibly land big shots. And he just ate a three-punch combination that was punctuated by a straight right hand from Rodriguez. He did, but he took the punch as well. Ray, look at him. He's still coming right back on. Nice right hand. Maloney digging away, and then he comes upstairs with the chopping right hand. Puts the head down to Rodriguez. And this is the way he's going to win this fight. He's got to go back to the Jeff Harding style. He was an old Australian light heavyweight who wasn't the best boxer. He wasn't the most talented to make this a sloppy, tough, rough fight. Jack left hook by Rodriguez. Another one followed by a right hand. Nice left hook followed by a piercing straight right hand from Rodriguez. Rodriguez is there. Takes on Naoya in a way. Nice right hand that found its destination for Rodriguez. Beautiful right exchange hooks. Nice right hand that smacks off the left side of the head of Maloney. 65 seconds left in round eight. Nice uppercut by Maloney. Snuck that in. Perfect when he's punching. His leverage is. His body position is so nice. 12. BJ. Two more. You could definitely give Maloney a couple rounds in there, but Rodriguez done the more quality work. Double left hook by Maloney. And there is a punch that numbers Rodriguez thrown. Nice left hook by Maloney right there. Rodriguez answers with a big nice straight right hand. hand. Rodriguez is taking his foot off the gas a little bit. That's Maloney's nice overhand right by Maloney. That's a great situation for Maloney to uh, lose. He doesn't know how to lose. And he doesn't believe he can lose. So until that 12th round and that final bell rings, uh, you can't tell Jeff Maloney otherwise. And you see the time. Rapid and they want to just go to battle. Big right hand punctuating it. The round for Rodriguez. He fights hard. He's very competitive uh, so far. He's got to be careful for that right hand to Rodriguez. And yeah, and really a fight that Rodriguez went over to the UK and dominated with such a good puncher like Rodriguez. Nice right uppercut. Nice uppercut. Distance. Missed the shot, but if he would have went to the body, nice body shot by Maloney. That's what the corner Maloney wants him to do here. Attack the body. Challenger and Maloney. Both fighters are undefeated. The winner advances to the semifinals against the Oya Inoue. Back hits him with a straight jab. That's the punch they wanted him to use. And, uh, and a big right hand that connected by Rodriguez. Without Rodriguez giving him anything back. Nice right hand by Maloney and some good body work here. Maloney now is going right to work on Rodriguez. And if you're Rodriguez, he can't get the place in three rounds. Rodriguez is tired. They keep yelling. And uh, we can't help but hear it. Nice right uppercut, right body shot by Maloney. First star out of Puerto Rico. But first, he has to get past Jason Maloney. And two right hands for Jason Maloney in the 12th and final round here in Orlando. It's a Saturday Night Slugfest here in South Florida. Beautiful work by Maloney on the inside. He just got caught with a good right uppercut, but he's back to work, banging away on the body. You know, it's it's obvious that Rodriguez is a little tired here, and Maloney's working harder than it happened as we only have two minutes and 15 seconds remaining. And you see Maloney almost sprinting out of his corner and banging on the body of Rodriguez. Red Rodriguez is tired. Look at this. He is just going there. Rodriguez.
Rodriguez is definitely ready for that final bell to land. Nice right hook by Maloney in the last seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, please give both fighters a round of applause for 12 exciting rounds of championship action. Having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. Judge at ringside, Holger Whiteman has the contest. 115, 113 for Maloney. Judge Alfredo Polanco has it. 115, 113 for Rodriguez. And Judge Alexander Levin scores the bout 115, 113 for your winner by split decision. Moving on to the World Boxing Super Series Battleweight Semifinals. And still, IBF Battleweight Champion of the World, Emmanuel Manny El Sensacional Rodriguez.